Hello everyone, this is Junk Wax Investor. Tonight we're going to be opening a box of 1988 Leaf. There we go. Um, but before we get into that, I thought I'd shoot a quick video showing some of my collection of oddball cards. This is for uh, vintage oddball cards 800 subscriber giveaway. His contest. I think this is a great idea. Uh, congratulations, by the way, to 800 subscribers. That's a that's a huge milestone. I recently got back into the hobby after a couple decades away and rediscovered my old my old trading cards and sports cards. And uh, you know, for the last couple months, it's been you know it's been really fun, kind of going through everything again, remembering as a kid when I first got them and was opening them. Never really. You never really think about things like condition and that type of stuff. It was just fun to collect and trade with friends and that type of stuff. And, you know, going through some of my old cards, I definitely have a selection of oddball cards for sure, but I haven't been able to go through my whole collection yet and kind of organize it. But I do have a few that I thought that I would share. Um, I'm sure many of you have similar ones of these, uh, these mini cards from... Uh, from chip bags. Um, here, I got a few here. So these are these are Humpty Dumpty, baseball. I got Ricky Henderson, and one of my PC uh, favorites here that I collect a lot. Frank Thomas. So this is one of my favorite cards. They're not in the greatest shape, but. You know, that's that's the way it was when you're collecting these things as a kid. We got Brett Hall. Some hockey. That's the year on these. 1992. Uh, Stevie Eiserman. And Mario Lemieux. That's a nice one. And, of course, we got Wayne Gretzky. There, is it going to zoom in? There we go. And I have a couple Cracker Jack ones that I have in my collection. This one, I like this one here. It's actually in pretty good shape. It's from, uh, it's from 1993. But it says, uh, there we go. Mordecai Brown, manager of the St. Louis Federal League team. 1915 set. That's a pretty cool looking little card. And then as well, one of my favorites is obviously the Frank Thomas. Also a Cracker Jack box, 1991. That one's actually surprisingly in fairly good shape. I'll put that one over there. And then the other ones I have were from um, 1991 Skybox Basketball, they did a promotion, and I think it was only in Canada, but it was with uh, Hostess Frito-Lay Company, and they inserted these mini mini Skybox basketball cards in chip bags. So I got uh, Nakeem Olajuwon, and it pretty much looks like the actual Skybox basketball card. Charles Barkley, oh. and then for my basketball personal collection, I collect Michael Jordan, and that's one of my favorite ones right there. Michael Jordan, and I'm pretty sure this one came out of uh, ketchup chips because there's definitely some red up there from my you know, from my fingers when I pulled it out of the bag. 1991, I would have been nine years old. They did come in little wrappers, but I'm pretty sure I couldn't wait and probably sitting in the back seat of the car, ripped it open with the red dust on your fingers and unfortunately got it over. I'm I think I have, I thought I had another one of these 
potentially still in the wrapper as well, but I haven't been able to go through all of my uh, all of my old boxes of cards yet. So it might be hidden somewhere, or it might have been lost in the shuffle over the over the decades. So, so yeah, so those are my those are my favorite oddball cards. Um, hope you enjoyed them. And yeah. So again, congratulations to Vintage Oddball Cards on the 800 subs. Looks like you're almost uh, almost at 900. That's uh, pretty impressive. That's awesome. Um, hoping to get there someday as well. And thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. In addition, hit that bell icon and get notifications so you don't miss out on any of our future great content. Also, follow us on Instagram and check out junkwaxinvestor.com.